All right, uh, this is The Last Glow. Uh, my name's Craig. I run The Last Dragon Tribute website. Um, I'm gonna start reading some of my articles uh, because a lot of people don't like to read these days, including me. So I figured having a video or an audio video version of these articles would help them get out to more people and share the glow. So the first one I'm gonna read here is um, it's called Memories of Julius Carey from the cast of The Last Dragon. Um, and it's got some really great information about Julius Carey and uh, actual quotes from the cast. And, uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people have seen it. It's been on the site since 2014. Um, a lot of people don't even know about the site, The Last Dragon, no, sorry, The Last Dragon Tribute.com. I'm going to do these things unedited, just go, shoot and go, one take, hopefully. Um, so here we go. Um, first, uh, so basically a great mo action movie is only as good of it as its villain. On August 19th, 2008, we lost a man who played one of the greatest villains ever. Show enough. Uh, Julius Carey, the actor who brought to life the infamous self-proclaimed Shogun of Harlem, passed away from pancreatic cancer, ending an acting career that had spanned almost three decades. So I caught up, back then I caught up uh, with some of the cast. This was just before the Last Dragon's 30th anniversary celebration at the 2014 Urban Action Showcase. So it was late in the year, it was November. So the anniversary was 2015. Um, we did this big reunion, the biggest Last Dragon reunion ever. So getting ready for that anniversary. Um, so I interviewed a few of the guys and uh, just got their thoughts on Julius Carey. So first, um, Tymac, who played Bruce Leroy, obviously, had this to say. Uh, I really respected his talent and loved his approach to work. He brought everything to it. He was 100% full circle and left no stone unturned. I was most impressed with, impressed with how he owned the role and on set he worked hard to bring out the best in those around him. He was fun to work with. Then I also have uh, another video you can check out. Just uh, look on YouTube or Google. Uh, Timax shares his memories of Julius Carey at the Last Dragon reunion. And it's a little video I filmed actually while I was hosting a panel, which I'm sure is a, is a no-no, but uh, hey, I, I was it was too much fun. It was the first time I'd met these guys and I got, uh, I helped bring Tymok, uh, Glenn Eaton and Ernie Reyes Jr. together in Detroit. And, uh, we had a great reunion. It was, it was amazing. And during the panel that I hosted, I filmed, um, Tymok talking about Julius Carey. So you can check that out. Um, Glenn Eaton, who played Johnny, Johnny Yu had some interesting things to say. Um, if you look at the article on the last Dra th no, sorry on the last dragon tribute.com you'll see a a picture of uh, Glenn a candid photo of Glenn punching Julius in the face and uh, Glenn told me that uh, he was giving Julius a knuckle sandwich he told him he was going to give him a knuckle sandwich and uh, Julius took it literally and tried to eat his fist so it's kind of funny uh, and it was a, like a very rare photo that um, Glenn shared with me. Um, so Glenn said, I wish I'd gotten to know him better, uh, but Julius Carey seemed to me like a very serious person, not one for small talk. He didn't seem like your average Hollywood actor, but more from the method days of the 50s. On One day on set, he was getting upset with the fight trainer. He was exhausted from training with the sticks, and it was bruising up his arms. And he said... I'm an actor, not a martial artist. So Glenn asked him, what are you going to do now? And he looked at him dead serious with fierce conviction in his eyes and said, I'm going to Burger King. <laughs> he says in that big Shona voice. Uh, Glenn said, I had the feeling that if I said, oh, that's not, that's bad for your health. He would have destroyed me. So I said, hey, that sounds like a great idea. Now when I look back, I would have loved to talk to him about acting what you saw in film, he would go from serious and introverted to explosive in a second. He made it look easy. One might not recognize how difficult that is, and that's a sign of a good actor, when you think he's just being himself. 
Uh, Kirk Taylor, who played Crunch, one of Shonuff's goons, um, he wrote me a great little, um, little blurb about uh, Julius. Um, it had a little flair to it too. He um, with things like this, like in the in a Shonuff style. He said, "Was he ferocious in his approach to his role in The Last Dragon? Shonuff. In fact, I don't remember him anywhere near the set, not in character." He was in the headspace of the Shogun of Harlem constantly. He shared with me that he was having dreams where he was actually fighting with two of our film's martial arts advisors, waking up drenched in the middle of the night. Was JC3 committed and involved in making this project great? Show enough. Off camera, through one of his Shogun growls, he personally named me and the other male lieutenants Beast, Cyclone, and Crunch. So immersed with was his approach that most people are shocked to hear he was not a martial artist at all. But he sold that with his style and bravado and dared you to think otherwise. Was he kind and humble to even a greater degree than he was ferocious and committed? Show enough. I was startled by how gentle and peaceful he was once the film completed. I uh, actually ran into him at an audition some years later. I didn't even recognize him. Having completed my audition, I was walking out past a group of waiting actors when I heard a voice whisper, Crunch? It was Julius Carey III, without braised, weaves, or converse. But the inner glow that eluded him in his <clears throat> with his character in The Last Dragon. We hugged, smiled, and asked how the other was doing. Then we gave a final nod that, in a brief moment, spoke of a special bond and affection. One forged in the trenches with Michael Schultz, Barry Gordy, and the gang. The yeah, eyes said it all. We both remembered and promised to never forget. That was the last time I saw my brother Julius. And lastly, will the world be less without JC3 in it? Once again, the answer is show enough. The sentiment was expressed well in another film by our director, Mr. Schultz, Cooley High. Glenn Turman's character spoke about the tragic death of his friend Cochise, played by Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. He concluded by saying how the world would never know the greatness, the special grace and talent they would miss out on. And so it is with our fallen brother. What life, what fury, what deep compassion he had, he would have inspired, we will never know. But some of us will always remember and dream. Janet Bloom, who played uh, one of Shonuff's women, uh, girls, you know, didn't have too much to say. Uh, didn't have too much to say, but but she did add. Uh, one of my fondest memories is when he told me and someone else that my legs should be insured. Uh, he was a good guy, gone way too soon. Rest in peace, Julius. Uh, I remember her telling me that uh, she uh, he called her legs all the time. She's uh, one of the the shortest girls you'll see in the film. Just so you can pick out who she is. Uh, Lisa Dalton, who played Show's Woman Number Three, said Julius was a very talented actor. I will always remember a commercial he did where he played a basketball, where he played basketball in a suit and tie. Shortly after the film, it was such a contrast to his character of Show Enough. He was warm and supportive to his fellow ca castmates. He collaborated with his gang to help us create the tight knit ensemble we became. So sad to lose him too early. Yeah, it's really interesting how you see that, you know, he named the guys. Um, he actually gave the girls names too, uh, but they didn't use them in the movie. I believe Lisa told me that. And, um, uh, you know, and then jokingly at one of the reunions, she said uh, that her name would be Showflake or something like that because she's... The only white girl. Uh, Ron Van Cliff, the fight coordinator and a legendary martial artist actor, had to say that Julius was a great guy with an amazing sense of humor. I trained him in his stunt double, Master T. Taylor. Many interesting conversations about women and philosophy. Good times, and he was a fast learner, a real athlete, thespian, and friend. I asked him about, uh, you know, what they talked about with regards to women in philosophy. Um, and I asked him what his philosophy was on women. And he said he loved women and he was in search of the perfect woman. And stated, life is nothing without love. 
to have art was life. You do the best you can every day for life. Um, the article goes on to talk about how um, there was a tribute to Shonoff at uh, the 30th anniversary celebration at the Urban Action Showcase. Um, Demetrius Angelo set this up and did an amazing job. Um, he had, uh, so there was a screening of the movie, um, you know, with some 400 people watching with Timak in the house. Um, and Julius Carey's mom was there too, which we'll get into more. Um, and, uh, they hired someone or got someone to uh, dress as Shonuff, uh, a wrestler named Jimmy the Shogun Mayhem, uh, to crash the screen just right when, uh, Shonuff enters the movie in the movie theater. Uh, so when that part came on screen, the film actually stopped like it did in the movie. And uh, Jimmy came in and did the whole show enough act. Um, it, was, it was great. The fans got a real kick out of it. And uh, I have a video up of that as well on YouTube. Um, and an article, an article called Who Would Interrupt the 30th Anniversary Screening of The Last Dragon. Um... The other thing, of course, was that Julius Carey, uh, his, Julius Carey's mom was there. Uh, her name's Helen, a.k.a. Mama Nuff Carey. And uh, they came to the celebration as well to represent uh, Julius and show Nuff and accepted award, an award on his behalf. Um, and it's something, she was able to answer a question that's, that's always bothered me. And I've always wondered if uh, Julius Carey knew how much the fans, how much people really loved him as Shonuff. Um, you know, many people, uh, he's such a great villain that, that a lot of people like him more than the hero. And, uh, and no, no shade given to Bruce Leroy. We love Bruce Leroy. He was my hero growing up when I was a kid. But, you know, Julius Carey, Shonuff really steals the show. Um, and there's something to be said for that. Um, I think movies uh, are need a, a villain to be good. Like these action movies, superhero movies. If you don't have a good villain, you don't have a good movie. And one of the things, or the main things that makes The Last Dragon such a great movie is that it has, honestly, one of the greatest villains of all time in Shonuff. He's right up there with, uh, with Darth Vader, Heath Ledger's Joker, um, the shark in Jaws. You know, I could go on and on. But really, um, seriously, he just, he, he's, he's amazing on screen. Um, so I asked, uh, Helen, Mrs. Carey, uh, you know, if Julie knew how much people love, uh, love this character and, and I'm happy to say that she quickly answered confidently. Yes, he did. He knew it was one of his favorite roles. He loved how people reacted. He loved playing show enough. Um, and this just, it, it just, it, it completed me. It made me feel, you know, it filled a gap that had been, uh, I've always been wondering about. So, so, you know, it was, and it was great for her to see how much people appreciated him with, with all the art and, um, uh, tributes to, to Shonoff and, and all, all of, all the ways that fans, um, show their love for him. So, uh, it really made my day. So thanks to Helen and her family uh, for coming. You know, it's been over four years now, but uh, no, that was really great. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. Um, it's going to get up to 15 minutes or so here. But yeah, like I said, I want to do more of these videos. Since I haven't been updating the website in a while, I'll add them to the website um, to make it easier to get through. Um, and of course, it's here on YouTube. And uh, we'll share in other places too. So, you know what people say on YouTube. This is like my first video. So, you know, subscribe, share with a friend, that kind of stuff. And share the globe. Peace.